As an engineer, I like to look at the technical solutions to problems, but I realize that oftentimes a lot of the problems that are facing the world, a lot of the big problems facing the world, whether it's climate change or lack of fresh water, are problems that can't just be solved with technical issues. You really have to have a whole outlook on sustainability that looks beyond just the engineering solution and incorporates changing people's behaviors. I grew up in a small farming community called Maybe, Michigan. It's about 45 minutes outside of Detroit, Toledo, and Ann Arbor. Uh, but it's a very rural hamlet in the middle of metropolitan area. I lived on a farm. My dad didn't farm, but we rented our fields out, so we had corn and soybeans. My experience of a rural community is a close-knit community. We knew all of our neighbors. Um, we all got together for community celebrations. Um, it was really a nice place to call home. After an undergraduate and graduate degree in engineering, I worked for a while in Washington, D.C., and then I moved to Sudan. I lived in a very rural community. It was the second biggest town in the state, but it was 10,000 people. Um, while I was there, the commissioner, the county commissioner, who is the equivalent of the mayor, heard that I was an engineer and asked that I do the town's first survey and town plan. I looked to the literature to find out how this had been done before in rural places in Africa and didn't find very much. So then I looked to the U.S. and realized that not much had been written about comprehensive planning in rural places in the states either. So much of the planners focus has been on how to revitalize the center cities and they somehow forget that when people are moving out to the suburbs they're actually buying up farmland. By focusing only on the center cities they're neglecting the second part of the equation they're neglecting where people are moving. If we can understand why farmers are selling their lands to developers, then we might be able to encourage people to stay in the cities, encourage those farmers to hold on to their lands, and encourage people to move back into the cities. From some early research, one of the things that I've learned is that a key reason that farmers sell is because they can get significantly more money selling out to developers than they can from farming their land. I'm interested in looking at different ways that farmers are getting more profit from their land without having to sell out. One innovation that's happening in a couple of communities in Michigan is that they're having these community wind developments where farmers are paid rents to ha host wind turbines on their property. Not only does this provide the farmer with additional money, but because the footprint, the safety footprint of a wind turbine takes up additional land, that land can't be subdivided for sprawl development. My research will not only add to the literature, that most of which is 20 years old, but will also provide practical solutions for rural communities. Having grown up in a rural community, I think certainly adds to my ability to do research on rural planning. I understand the kind of culture in rural places, and I also have a great test bed for figuring out if the questions that I want to ask for my research are actually going to resonate with my audience.